What it do, it's your boy Gun Amazing. It's my route to fame. What's going on? It's RTFJ. This route to fame. I got a special guest in the building, man. People been asking for this. People been waiting. We got Gun Amazing in the building, man. Spinner. What it do? What it do? What it Gun do? Gun Amazing in the building, bro. How you been, <laughs> fam? Man, working like a motherfucker. Oh, we can cuss on here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. working, man. I'm just working, man. Yeah, this ain't 97. This ain't K104. This route to fame. <laughs> yeah, for sure. How you been, though, bro? Man, on top of it. I'm on top of it. Mm-hmm. For sure. those who don't know, man, kind of tell them where you from, your background story, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, they know it, man. E Dallas, Texas. Gotcha. Frazier Court, you know what's going on, man. Mm-hmm. So, screen nigga, come from the screen, you know how I go. Turning it up. So, how's it been ever since you came back? Uh, up and down. Has it been know. a year now? How long is yeah, it? Yeah, not not fully out the head, what has been like at the feds, yeah. Right. You know what year? Hey, yeah. Just the first year was kind of crazy, you know. I was this way, that way, that way, you know, man. But I got it together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. As far as music goes, have you like used any of the stuff that you wrote in there, or has it all just been? It's all fresh, bro. I still ain't put that prison bag down yet. I got that bitch in the attic, too. I ain't right. even put it down yet, bro. It's some shit in there, too. I just ain't fuck with it. What's know making you not uh, bring it out just yet? I, don't, I feel like y'all don't want to hear that shit. You feel me? I feel like that was a dark time in my life. You know, prison, that was that was fucked up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I know everything in that spiral. And them spirals, yeah, it's, some sh- it's hard. I don't want to get that to y'all here right now. Right. I don't. It's it's peaceful right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to keep it like that. I keep feel it it. like that. So let's talk about the stuff that you do have out. You know what I'm saying? I think the most recent video you put out was Pain Free. Yeah, for sure. Right? Tell me a little bit about that. From from me listening, right, as a viewer, you talk about you getting betrayed by a friend. For sure. What was that? What was that like? Uh, you know, nowadays music just be a lot of rah rah shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I had to bring them into my life and let them know actually what's what's been going on, what's still going on. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we dropped the record. It was actually on uh, Our Lives on Music. You know, but when we came out with the record just to let people know, like, you know, regardless of what everybody else doing, you know, this this our reality. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. It's still, it's climbing up too. It's climbing fast. Gotcha. <laughs> you do got a new take coming out. Spinner. Spinner. What can we expect out of that? What features? All that good stuff. What's What's the whole vibe of the whole entire album? What are you trying to get off? Uh, I switched it up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, they probably think it in one way, but it's really another way. Just unlocking different, unlocking different, what, what they call it. Uh, uh, what they call it, low skill. When you unlock another, another flows and shit, it's unlocking different flows and shit. Right. Yeah, so that's basically what I, I unlock the new little flow. So I'm mm-hmm. giving it to the world. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. And talking about that, let me ask you this: Who inspired your unique, like rap style? Uh, I really, I ain't got no inspiration. You feel me? Just, just like life. Street shit I was ba- basically Like mainly inspired Just off of What was going on around me You feel what I'm saying It wasn't like A certain person Was like Oh yeah That made me want to do the shit You know what I'm saying It wasn't that It was like You know Just the lifestyle You know what I'm saying The streets the, 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 the How the dope boys Growing up back in the day How we How I seen them You feel what I'm saying That's what made me Want to down Put this shit on beat You feel what I'm saying So yeah that's how that's how this shit come about. It wasn't a certain person though. Right. Sure. What about the cadence? The the. Uh, I listen to a lot of mystical. You know what I'm saying? Mm, but as a kid, you gotcha. feel me? Like yeah. the mystical style rap. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I wasn't too really fucking with Bone Thugs like that, but I heard a lot of that shit. Mm. But a lot of people ask me like, "Damn, you fuck with Bone Thugs?" Nah, like a lot of mystical, a lot of twister. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit. You know. I like that old do or die type of vibe. You feel me? That's amazing for sure. Yeah. What goes on in your head when you freestyling though, man? It's like your eyes pop out and it's like words <laughs> are coming in back and forth, bouncing in your head. I be like, catching what, that, that shit. You see yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. You see that shit? I be catching that shit in my head. I be that's how I read it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know. That's how shit just come out. I don't know. That's crazy that you said mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just bouncing back and forth and stuff like that. Let me ask you this. Why don't you uh? 
what's stopping you from just doing freestyles off other people's beats? Like like songs that are already hot. Like what's stopping you from just I'm getting on to that? Get some money out the shit. You okay, feel me? Feel it. Like shit, songs I reckon another nigga beat now. I gotta, you know, we gotta pay them for the clearance and all that shit. I don't go through all that shit. Yeah. Man. When people speak on on your name and they talk about you, they always talk about your freestyles. I got the most legendary freestyles in Dallas, Texas, man. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I feel. You stamp that. That's, that's I stamp that. Yeah. Can't let let's keep it real. Let's go on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Let's put all the Dallas rappers in the line. Who got the hardest freestyle that you can really go word for word and remember what that oh damn, damn that nigga went out. Man, run that nigga back. Who got that? Meezy, for sure. Meezy to Meezy. Spin him. Spin him. And that's the thing, they don't want too much give me my credit. You know, Meezy, they don't like me. You feel what I'm saying? So you know they feel gonna like sheep. You know they gonna oh this per this per man man who you know in the city that you know legendary freestyles I'm talking about from in the car in the kitchen on the block amazing amazing for sure how do you feel like how do you feel when people compare you to other people I think it's a blessing you know you feel me everybody doing their thing you feel what I'm saying so. If, you know, if I'm compared to somebody doing their shit, I look at it as a blessing. You feel what I'm saying? As long as I ain't compared to a bum nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, good or bad, man, you compare me to another nigga, I love it. It's cool. For sure. Nah, for sure. So, growing up in these Dallas, what was that like? It's challenging. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, shit, it's either you going to make it out or you going to stay. You feel what I'm saying? It's real challenging. It's real easy to follow. And to the politics, to the gang banging, to the street shit, it's guaranteed you're going to fall and you're jealous, you know. It's all on what you do with it. Feel me? Why do you say guaranteed? The culture. e Dallas culture is so, it's cut, bro. It's cut. Don't nobody really come to e Dallas like that, you feel me? But the ones that do and the ones that, that's accepted and they can be around, nine times out of ten, you're going to come Doing some E Dallas shit when you leave and go back to your little area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to have some little E Dallas lingo, E Dallas movements, high siding, whatever the case may be. You're going to get it from us. You feel what I'm saying? So it's cut. And a lot of niggas, shit, you know, a lot of niggas don't uh, come around. A lot of niggas don't make it out. You feel me? Right. So help me understand, you know, as a fan and stuff like that, as a viewer, when you came out, we understood. You was in the north, and then you came to the east. What was all it went to see? See, it was circumstances that made me do that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, probably don't know, you know, the ones that follow me and been following me. The circumstances of the lifetime, what was going around on around that time, made me do that. You feel? I'm from me, Dallas. You know, certain situations popped off. I had to move to the north. You know, certain some shit out. You feel me? You know. That's what happened, but I, know, I got love in the mouth. You feel what I'm saying? Shit, all of them down that bit. So it wasn't nothing to just pack up and move. Right. It's love out there, but it was on it was on the circumstances, you know, screw shit. Mm. Yeah. So you know, after doing some research about you and stuff like that, bro, you've been doing this since you was young. You've been in the studio since you was young. Sure. What was that like? like how does it feel being? No, being where you at right now, then knowing you was doing this shit since you was young, man, it's time. You feel what I'm saying? Like and you caught, you got caught up in, in some street stuff. Yeah, but now you you here now. You back in the music. Yeah, it's time. You know, time. Time is everything. You know, shit. I I, I know the greats. If they in Dallas, Texas, they've been rapping, doing their thing. I know them. You feel me? Probably work with them. You feel me? But time, shit. Means the time right now. You know what I'm saying that's one thing you can't change. You can't orchestrate. You can't cheat. Time is time. Man. You feel me? When it's your time, it's gonna come. For sure. All right. Let me tell you this. When people tell me, ask me about Gunna Measy, they ask about my opinion, right? Yeah. As me being a media nigga, I guess you would say, right? Yeah. My answer is, I feel like all the bullshit overshadows his talent. Yeah. How do you feel about that statement? That's that's you're absolutely correct. Feel me, cause you gotta understand, I'm the underdog. You feel me? I'm the one that they don't like. You feel me? Every like a lot of people say that shit, but 
Like the proof in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? What you got? So are you just waiting for people to realize that? Am I waiting for them to realize? Because uh, you don't entertain any of it is what I notice as well. You don't get in no internet beef. Anytime anybody speaks on something, you know, it seems like you know it's false, right? But you don't speak on it. You just wait and you just let your talent take place. But when are you just going to speak the facts? Every me, time I do this shit, a, I, get the, I get the wrong... Uh, I come, <laughs> I come out the come wrong, out wrong shit. You feel? Me? I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to go live with a nigga and explain what I, I needed this too. I'm glad. We, I'm glad you said that. Right. I don't know how to go live with a nigga and explain how I feel. You feel what I'm saying? Without charging a nigga bitch ass up. You feel right. me? Yeah, it seems it's, like you get frustrated. It, like when I when I witness the interviews, right? Well, no. Well, well I'm gonna take that back. Okay. Mainly, it be the People that they put me online with You feel what I'm saying gotcha. You could put me online with a person I don't know I'm not for to argue with you You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying But for a person who been Antagonizing or doing gay shit For a whole a long time And you put me on the phone with a person like that I'm gonna do what anybody else gonna do Shut your bitch ass up You right. feel right. me But other than that man I don't really like going live And doing all that shit And arguing And fuck all that shit You know what I'm saying it don't, it don't prove nothing It don't you know what I'm saying They gonna believe What they wanna believe These people still gonna do What they wanna do It don't matter You know what I'm right, saying so, so let's, let's do this Let's clear it out For the fans Right Catch my drift Let's clear it out For the fans sure. You gotta understand A lot of the fans Were Mo3 fans Right Yeah Cool You came out Around the same time Of his death okay. Right So us as fans You came in And it's like Whoa this guy sounds Just like him Uh huh but now, if you do your research the way I did, you been sounding like this. For sure. Right? So now we automatically become fans of you because it's very similar. For sure. Y'all very distinct, but at the same time, you guys are similar. You can't deny that. Right? Okay. So you end up getting fans from his side as well. Uh-huh. Right? You end up getting fans. So now we get confused because now, you know what I'm saying, you're affiliated with all the politics and stuff like that. But what people don't know... I'm not affiliated with nobody but MHML. You feel what I'm saying? saying? But, but what people don't understand is you've been around certain people since you was young. Exactly. So the fans get confused. So is there any way, like, you can... Not right now, but is, like, is there a way you can explain all this? You just got to keep watching. You just got to get in music history. You got to know what's going on with me. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And fans got favorite artists that they go check out. Right, feel right. what I'm saying? So before you even speak on or, or think about typing some shit up on the Do internet, your research. you got to know what's going on. You right. feel what I'm saying? Just because I come home and you see me fuck with this person, this person, this person, this person probably been a long time partner exactly. like as three was. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't get fucked up when you see me either with this person, this person, or this person. You can't get mad. You feel what I'm saying? I'm working. You know, but a fan gonna be a fan. Or you got managers being whole niggas. You know what I'm saying? Doing gay shit and painting pictures to other people. And you know, that shit happens. You know, so I'm dealing with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of music shit, gay shit that spin are dealing with. I just weave through the shit. I never say nothing. I never talk about Does it. Does it discourage you at times, though? A hundred percent. Right. Hey, yeah. And you got to understand I'm human. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Keep poking at the bird. Eventually, what the bitch going to do? You know what right. I'm saying? It's going to bite you. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, but I don't let it get to me. Like, like far as, you know, just flashing out. Like, nah. We go straight to the studio, man. Knock that shit out. Put it on the wax. You know what I'm saying? At the, at the end of the day, it's music. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to let the music speak. We're going to keep on working. Fuck it. That's all we can do. Nah, for sure. It ain't going to never be no situation. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Pertaining to the to the people that I'm shaking the dice with. It ain't going to be no situation. So let's record. Fuck it. For sure. That's dope, man. You putting it all in the music. So man, can we get more freestyles from you, man? <laughs> yeah, I got you, bro. I got can you. Can we like I, I get it. You trying to make money off it and stuff like that. But I, like I said, I feel like when people talk about you, they like to, you know, they mention your freestyles. I got something on the way for you out the spinner though. I got this shit called Ball Hogging, man. Uh it ain't nothing but other people beats. You feel mm-hmm. me? Just wrecking other nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? It's actually coming out right out the spinner. Bro, uh Levi dropping uh Speak of the Devil. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Yeah, I did right all the tape that. together too, right? How was that? Yeah, the old murder, old murder two on the way too. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga working like a bitch right after that shit. You know we got the ball hogging segments. You know what I'm saying? So that's the shit. That's all the freestyle shit y'all gonna get. 
Right. Yeah, that old Texas shit where you could just and you know how we used to do it and the old beat we used mm-hmm. to go off on. You know what I'm saying. I'm bringing that shit out, so anybody who paying attention to this interview, don't try to go do it first. But we already <laughs> working on the shit, and the shit on the nah, way, yeah. bro. You know how niggas be, man. Shit yeah. crazy. So, look, I had Ziggy up here earlier, and he talked about the whole process of you in the studio. Yeah. You go in there, you barely punch in, you go f- one take. Yeah. The whole thing. Where does that come from? Ziggy. Uh, it's the beats, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the beats. You got to have a... Gotta have a, this shit gotta talk to you. You know what I'm saying? When you go on the yoke, automatically, you're gonna feel a beat. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that beat say, you gotta say that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why bro got all the beats. You know what I'm saying? That nigga hot. That nigga Z hot, bro. You can't deny that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it should be fireworks. Every time nigga hear one of them hoes, soon they go in the booth, it's the end. Mm-hmm. We just be wrapping that shit up, putting that shit on, ready to put that shit out. That's nah, it. For sure. So. So, you know, I knocked out a couple of interviews prior to you, bro. And, like, one of the things that stuck out from each and every interview was uh, Unity in Dallas. Sure. And the fact that it, it's, it's the truth. We got a new generation coming up. You had, the, you, you say you had the three big dogs. You had Trap, Yellow, Mo3, which they still respected in their own categories, but there is a new generation. And I feel sure. like you're part of it. It's you, Big X the Plug, Montana, you know, the list goes on. Uh-huh. So can we learn from what happened previously? Like, what do we learn now? Like, how do we move on and make the city great again? Of course you got to look at the history. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look yeah, at you what to do and what not to yeah. do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Of course you got to look at the history. You know, and know who you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? P- f- pertaining it to the those who you fucking with. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, as far as in the city... Shit, man. I feel like we got it. You know, the guy, those guys you name, you know, they, them some good guys, you feel me? They got good heads on their shoulders, man. They working, you know what I'm saying? So us coming together wouldn't really be a problem, you know? So, shit, I, I feel like Dallas in a good direction. Plus, you know, the other niggas, behind, you know, that that's, that's hot, that's fucking around, you know what I'm saying? That's niggas fuck with on a day-to-day, you know? It's working for sure. Just shit, it's... it's it's on if the outside world gonna take it in. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But even if they don't, I get I guarantee the heavy the heavy hitters that's that's fucking around, we're gonna make it happen for sure. Yeah, I feel like that's you in general though, in your career though. You just like once again, you just lend the, the music speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? That's all we can do, man. Finna. My old interviews back in the day, I used to say a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, give a lot of Secrets out, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I be like looking at other nigga interviews and be like, damn, that nigga shouldn't have said that shit or said that shit because a lot of this shit be for street shit only, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So a lot of niggas gotta understand, you gotta do, leave this over there and leave that over here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know y'all be asking a lot of shit and wanting people to know, mm-hmm. but a lot of that shit be for music, you know what I'm right. saying? Go to the studio and say that shit instead of getting on camera saying exactly. that shit, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know, that's just how I look at the shit. But, yeah, spin on the way, man. Spin a hill, we here for sure. No, for sure. Six, eight, twenty-three. You know what I'm saying? That's Thursday. You know that? You gonna get the tape? Yeah, for Fuck sure. With it. You yeah. gonna see what it say? Yeah, of course. Shit, hard. Oh, it's different now. Mm-hmm. It's on another level. So you gotta really open your ears up, smoke your blunt, really open. It. Yeah, listen to that shit. I want to talk about what you got in the attic, though, fam. Why? Why? Like, we we want to hear it. I don't think so, bro. I don't what think makes you say that? that bro. Cause it's it's poison. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hurtful shit. It's a lot of secretive shit. It's a lot of it's a lot of shit that uh, it didn't get, that shit can get some people killed. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't want that shit, bro. You don't want that shit. I don't want I don't want that shit to come out. So I'm just keep it up for right now. I try to figure out how to weed through the shit in a minute. But that prison bag got a lot of hurtful shit in it, man. You know what I'm saying so. I stay away from that. Is it right just now. like a dark time of your life type stuff? Hell yeah. I told the truth. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I ever picked up that pen when I was in prison, bro, I told the truth. So if it was fuck you, it was that. You know what I'm saying? If some shit happened that I can't speak about shit, it's that. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'd rather keep that bitch up there. So. Mm-hmm. so what's your process into knowing what you finna release or not, bro? Because when I look at your catalog right now since you've been out, all the music's dope, but it's like it's everywhere right now. 
you know, you in this bag, that bag, which is dope because you coming out trying stuff. But when when are you going to settle down and be like, all right, I'm going to take it this route? Is it with this tape? Or you're not going to do it at all? You're going to keep bag from bag? Yeah. I'm not going to I'm not gonna settle down. I'm everywhere. And it's only because, shit, you got to understand, a lot of people got a lot of different music and shit out. You feel me? I've been gone. I got so much to say. So the catalog just going to grow. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Probably in another couple of years, I probably settle down. You know right. what I'm saying? Probably like two years, I settle down. Other than that shit, I'm finna be everywhere. I'm gonna be everywhere. I can guarantee you that I'm be everywhere. <laughs> for sure, man. So who do you want to work with, man? Not even just from the city, just in general. Who do you see yourself collabing with? Uh, I like Sizzle right now. Sizzle? Okay. Hello, show. Sure. Right now, if we like right now, if I can call anybody up here right now, call Sizzle, man. Try and work. I can see you and Lil Wayne. I just want to watch Weezy record though. That's just like a dream of mine. You know what I'm saying I don't even want to do a song. I just want to watch him record. Why is it? Have you seen videos of him like in the studio before? Uh, yeah. You know that old that old uh drought that old drought mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch when he did that shit. But Wayne different, you know. That's why I ain't. That's how Wayne. I feel about you, though. That's what I'm saying. When you freestyle and the eyes go everywhere, I see Wayne. I see Wayne. Yeah, you feel me? I can see that. That's why I, I like, Wayne like that shit. collab. Be crazy. I love Wayne. Wayne like Wayne. If if you can say if anybody that okay me to like look up to in the music shit, it'll be Wayne. Yeah, I love Weezy. Weezy hard. I just want to watch him record though. I just feel like. Seeing, cause I me knowing how I do my shit, I want to see if he do his shit like me, or you know what be going through his mind, you mm-hmm. know what be how he move. What's, you know what I'm saying? I just want to watch him do his shit. So, now tell the truth. If you just sit in the studio and watch Lil Wayne record, don't say nothing. Just smoke. Just let him do him. Shit, it be hard, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, that's a dream of mine. I just want to watch him do his shit. Yeah. No, for sure, man. So let me ask you this then. You a rider? Or you more just off the dome? I'm both. You was riding, okay. Lately, I'm getting back into writing because shit, the team got me writing these lyrics and shit. And doing up, you gotta do all the uploading and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I got lately, I've been writing, but Spinner, I ain't writing none of that. All eyes on me, I ain't writing none of that. Oh, Murder One, I ain't writing none of that. Fraser Court Island with Emaz, I ain't writing none of that. I ain't wrote shit. Since Why I've me been do that? Do you just go in the studio? Are you just there all day? Or are you kind of just you do it from this time to that time? What's it like? Is it random times? Uh, we probably hit the studio probably like seven. Leave that bitch probably like five in the morning. I'll punch in. It's four in the morning. I'll punch in. I'll work. And see, it'd be so crazy. We had like four, five songs. Go back to the studio, make another three, four songs. And that'd be a motherfucking tape. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Damn, man, we need to put this shit out. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They just hold that shit. You know what I'm saying? Playing that shit out. But it be real. It be, I got some shit. I got some shit. Since I've been home, I've been working. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. Now you've been working off for sure, man. So who who picks the songs on the tapes? You do? Or is it like a collective? Yeah. It's a collective. Like a collective. Do you get yeah. do you get upset like when when one doesn't make it and stuff like that? Is there a lot of is there a lot of like debating yeah. back and forth? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it do. Every every early morning phone calls, a lot of mm. conversation, a lot of this, and then shit. Me, I'm I'm not a hard artist to work with though. It's just shit. It's the shit that I say. You know what I'm saying? On on the microphone, it be. It be real shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't really just put the shit out because something might happen, you know what I'm saying? So I be trying to put the shit out that's just neutral, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's discreet shit with me is kind of different. You ever thought about, like, maybe finessing it to where, like... Nah, they gonna know. You really got to puzzle the shit together? They gonna know. When you really doing this shit, bro, and that's what what I'm gonna be understanding about rappers nowadays, you can say some shit on the song, don't nothing ever happen, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't understand that. I mean, it's either some niggas you're around, they not even really with the shit, or you probably not with the shit. You know, but shit that we go through on a day to day, man, this shit really going on. So if you say something on this song, man, some niggas that's not going to like that. My niggas might not like that. You feel me? So it's kind of different, bro. 
That's dope though. Your team keeps you away from all that. Hell yeah. yeah. Like a motherfucker. I be mad too. A lot of shit I be wanting to come out. Like right now, I got a song I want to come out, man. Can't put it on the tape. Low not having it. Kiki not having it. Can't put it on the tape. You know what I'm saying? I shoot a video or something. Nothing. Can't do it. Yeah, it seems like they got your best interest though. Yeah. Yeah, I can say that. So I probably would have been slipped. Since I've been home, if I wouldn't, if I didn't have them, I know I would have been slipped. Yeah, so. it's a lot to take in. Shit, it's a lot of you know Pussy what I'm saying. Shit. It's a lot of rocks getting thrown. Hey, shit. You got to throw one back eventually. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't throw too many rocks though. Gosh. So let's talk about the songs that are all, that are on the album though. Which ones? You know what I'm saying? Which ones? One of your favorites? Me Mees is is a favorite. You said Meet Measy? Yeah, it's the last song on the tape. It's called Meet Measy. Because a lot of people got a lot of different shit to say about me when they really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Or they feel, or they so in love with another situation, they, you know, they, you gonna get a chance. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I like that song that's actually speak about what the fuck going on with me right now. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. So there is a way to still explain what's going on without, you know, because yeah. it is on the tape. Yeah. Yeah. But it's positive. It's positive. Uh I like uh uh see D and D that bitch hard. I like that uh D and D do not disturb, that's what it's that for? Yeah. S O B that bitch hard. Uh Did It Again, that's like that's that's a favor. That bitch hard. Um Brassy, that bitch hard. See, and then these songs too when I when I I gave y'all a little bit of something on on Spinner Brass so you could take that, you know what I'm saying? And try to Puzzles and stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking and interviewing at the same time, so shit, forgive me. But uh it's some shit on that hoe, but it's different. You gotta understand Spinner different. He not that type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? He a hustler, but he a rock star, you know what I'm saying? So it's like just putting that shit on wax, for real. Yeah, I think I came across a uh, a song that you made. That was a whole different. It was on some rock star shit. Yeah. So so like, what inspired you to do that? Shit, I don't know, man. I just like that shit. I just like the sound of you know taking some street you shit. You see where and I'm getting at when I say the Lil Wayne comparison? Huh? That's hard though. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I never looked at it like that though. But see, why ain't shit have stayed? Why? I don't know. That's my opinion. You said should have stayed like what? On the album? Why ain't should Why ain't should have gave him more? Why ain't should have gave him more rock star shit? You know what I'm saying? The way he made us eat them freestyles, he should have made us eat that rock star shit. You know what I'm saying? It probably would have worked. I don't know what means, man. I'm gonna give it to y'all. I don't give a damn. You know yeah, that's what I've been saying, but we've been waiting for the freestyles. That's what we're waiting on. I'm gonna give y'all some. Y'all got them ball hogging on the way. That's what it's called, ball hogging. Shit hard, too. It's like a no ceiling vibe. A no ceiling vibe? Yeah. Like drop top type shit in the no, wheel? Lil Wayne, no ceiling. Oh, no ceiling is like, look, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. No ceiling. You need that type of vibe. Yeah, we just want to take with a bunch of beats on it and shit, man. Just go crazy. She even a video or something. You could post it on Instagram. Yeah. That's what the fans want, Measy. I guess. I see. I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like. That's what the fans want, fam. You know. If I knew what they wanted, I'd get to them, man. I don't really be. That's the Instagram shit, the Facebook shit. I don't really be going live and shit like that, talking to people. I feel it. Just be going. So let me ask you this, man. You know, you the black sheep or whatever. People throw rocks at you and shit like that. People got all this bad shit to say about you, but they don't talk about the good things that you do for the community. Can you kind of speak on that? And I know you don't want to because that's, that's lame to speak on some shit that you're doing, you know, for the community or whatnot. Because, you know, you do it for the kindness of your heart. You don't want people to know. But can you, can you speak on it? Shit, we got the... um. We go in every juvenile facility, man. We talk to the kids, all the recreation centers in the neighborhood, and, you know, get back to the youth, grab the youth, embrace them, try to rebuild them, you know, give them a good direction. 
Show them that they can be different. You feel what I'm saying? You know, us being street guys, you know, falling, trying to get them, you know, where we messed up at, you know, get them the right routes. You feel what I'm saying? We in the community every week with that. You know what I'm saying? Every day, all day. I got some good guys from each hood, man, that's that's rocking with it. You feel what I'm saying? OG guy from my, my hood. Shout out to Bruce Wayne. It's my nigga, man. He got, he got the shit going with us. Shit, we for the we we on the youth like every day. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure we can we can get these guns out their hand, man, and show them another different direction, man. For sure, that's what we doing. Hey, yo. what inspired you to do all that? With you just being, you know, right now, what I'm seeing is a uh, a lot of people that like a lot of people that's having it. When we was young, like we have we had like the ricks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Football right. accounts and shit like that. But now, like, you rarely see any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? The hood. We used to drive through and see them niggas practicing. You know what I'm saying? Now you don't even see that shit. Everybody got a gun. Every young nigga got a gun. You know what I'm saying? Right. A nigga trying to switch that shit, get the teams back, basketball. You know what I'm saying? Summer counts. You know, just get back, man, the community and show them other than what the fuck they seeing. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because a lot of that shit be entertainment and they don't understand that shit. They think that shit be real life and it be entertainment. A lot of these niggas ain't doing that shit every day and they life every day, you know what I'm saying? But they telling you to go do it. So, you know, watering the shit down. We're going to get it back on track, though. For sure. Yeah, that's what we doing, though. Every day. For sure. No, for sure. How does that make you feel whenever you speak to the youth and stuff like that? Does it ever, like, make you take a look back and, like, does it fuck you up sometimes because you was once in their shoes? Hey, every time. And then they be having so many questions. They want to know if it's real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be so eager to go and make make this my mission because these kids want to know, you know, and shit. If they looking at somebody who hiding, you know, really got some money, having, you know, they going to believe them. And that nigga could be telling a motherfucking lie. You feel what I'm saying? So, shit, that's why we got it. We in there, man. Every every chance means it in there. Logan, Kai, baby, we here. We there. We, uh, let's go. When it's, when it's coming for the kids, I'm mashing. Feel what I'm saying? I got my whole team, everybody on board, bro. You feel me? About a couple of couple of, give us like two summers, man. Shit gonna be big as fuck. You know what I'm saying? We having all every neighborhood, man. Shit, any neighborhood. We there. We for the kids. We coming. We're gonna do something with them. Six flags, uh, football, basketball, summer camps, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Giving back, feeding the, the homeless, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna do it. For sure. And I'm gonna have the kids with me. Hey, yeah. Nah, yeah, that's dope, man. Man, from what I'm getting from everything, it's like you're not really too focused on what's going on on the internet. You got bigger shit on your plate. You focus on the music stuff and you giving back to the community. I think that's dope. Yeah, I don't really fuck with the internet shit. There be a lot of clown shit going on. I can't really entertain that. A lot of niggas say they, it's just a lot of niggas think they know the way they don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about a lot of bullshit that they don't know. So fuck all that. We're just gonna let the music, man. Keep working outside the streets, outside the city, in, in the hood. Keep on working. Fuck all that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, dropping this music, man, networking, yeah, it's gonna show. Shit, that's how we doing, though. It makes you move, for sure. Nah, for sure. When, when's the tape dropping, bro? Let them know. On Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, at 6 8 23. You can go get that everywhere. Any stream platform, everywhere. Go get it. Yeah. Nah, for sure.